you can push yourself a lot further than you think you can. And that when you are under the water, your neck is convulsing, everything inside you just goes, I want to get out of the water. But when you do take that breath, you feel all the blood rush into you, all the oxygen rush back into the body. And that's the greatest feeling because you know that you can keep going. I'm Ethan Kalea and I was the first male to represent Australia in artistic swimming. Artistic swimming is this beautiful sport that expresses both strength, power and artistic talent all within the water while you're also drowning yourself at the same time. We get to do amazing things by throwing ourselves over water with partners or with a team um, that helps us sort of express what it means to be an athlete, what it means to be in the water and what it means to love what the water is. So I was actually given the opportunity after I retired from swimming and one of my uh, synchro bosses basically uh, offered me a spot on a high performance program and basically said to me, no males ever represent Australia, I really want you to be the first, would you like to take that journey with me? Um, and I took I think all of two days to figure it out and maybe I think it was four or five days after I had the meeting where I got offered it, I was in the water training um, and that started my journey. So it was a really cool experience to be able to do something that's new um, but sort of still feeling that love of the water. So I was fortunate enough to go to China for a competition there but then also qualifying for world championships and competing against the best in the world for artistic swimming. And to say you're Number 11 in the world is a pretty cool uh, thing to, to have. It was really interesting because I felt more joy or more happiness from losing because it meant that I was competing against other people. Whereas winning and just winning gold because you're the only one that's turned up doesn't always reflect exactly what you've done or what you've put the work in. So it's kind of this mental game that I've had to teach myself of find the little wins that are not just becoming first um, and then seeing all the victories that I get from when I compete around the world um, against other people and try and meet their level. What I would say to other people is just give it a try. I mean, I started when I was an adult, so i definitely not the poster child for most people developing in sports. So it always means that there's an opportunity for people if you just go and get it. Um, and I was just lucky that I got given the opportunity, but uh, I was always told to take the chances um, and, and go do it. I think being a male in our sport is an amazing opportunity being able to work with women and work within um, the realm of artistic swimming. And although men haven't been as highlighted in, in the world of sport, especially not being in the Olympics, it's given men the opportunity to express new things and try new things, even from like a physiological point of view. Men are a bit different. And so being able to be a male in the sport has been an eye-opening experience because it showed the family that all the guys within the sport from all over the world are so supportive of one another and that even though your competitors are next to you, they're also helping the sport grow. As we all know with water, it can be a dangerous place. And so it's this constant battle between feeling that and making sure that we're using the water to our advantage and being like the water. You're under that water feeling, feeling that weightlessness feeling, feeling this, this pressure that you're held by something and being able to use that and use the water in your advantage in the best way you can. The most important thing is working with the water, not against the water. When I take that last breath, I prepare myself to be weightless and breathless. <laughs> 